Storms have completely hammered the central United States, leaving thousands without power, and more storms are on the way. What are you gonna do if the power goes out? Sadly, most don't have a plan. In fact, their plan is to sit around and wait for the power to come back on, and maybe even run down the battery on their iPhone while using the built-in flashlight. So let me introduce you to the R2500. This unit is a great solution for this situation. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested. I've been using this system for a couple of weeks now in various situations, and I'm actually pretty impressed. However, there is one massive thing that you've really gotta know about, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Let's first talk about where this unit fits into a well-prepared Home. Behind me, you can see the off-grid system that runs our entire homestead. It's the ideal for sure, but let's learn to walk before we can run. If your budget is less than 100 bucks, the best and easiest thing for you to do is just grab an inverter that clamps onto your car battery. This allows you to idle your car for about 30 minutes, twice, three times a day, and keep your refrigerator running. You can also use it while you're not idling to power some LED Christmas lights and keep your phones charged. But the sweet spot for many people is gonna be this step in between, which is the realm of generators. Now generators come in the form of gas or propane, or solar generators. I kind of hate the term solar generator because it makes it sound like all you have to do is just pull it out of the box and then you have infinite power from the sun for it. This is kind of true, but it's also a bit misleading. But once you step up to the realm of generators, you are definitely able to run larger appliances and more at the same time. Depending on the size of generator, you'll be able to run things like a refrigerator, a TV, a coffee pot, and a microwave, maybe even all at the same time. There are many pros and cons to both gas generators and solar generators. Let's talk about it. The biggest downside to a gas generator is that you're completely dependent upon how much gasoline you store and when you're out, you're out. In contrast, the solar generator is greatly limited in runtime once the sun goes down. But for the upsides, gas generator can pretty much run all night long on one tank of gas. But with a unit like the All Powers here, with rationing and the right solar panels, you can pretty much have infinite power. No matter what option you go with, you need to be able to keep your food cold and your communication channels online when faced with a power outage. So how does the R2500 from All Powers hold up under pressure? It's rated at 2500 watts of continuous output, and I'm happy to say that in most of my tests, it actually exceeds that. I've used it for everything from charging power tool batteries to space heaters and even dumping energy into my massive 30,000 watt hour batteries behind me. It does all of this with ease. Unfortunately, it doesn't like big motors that take a lot of energy real quick. It might not sound like a big deal, but if you're an elderly person or you have an infant and you're relying on this thing to run as maybe a window unit to keep cool, it might not work at all, even though on paper it technically should. In my tests, I found that this window unit that is well within the listed ratings for inrush amperage causes the all powers unit to fault out when the compressor kicks on every time. However, there are smaller AC units that I'm pretty sure this thing will run, but I haven't tested them yet. Assuming that it does run these smaller units and you have enough solar panels to keep it charged, you should be able, in theory, to run the AC as long as the sun is shining. Another aspect of this unit that I don't really like and I think can definitely be improved upon with a firmware update is its behavior after it fully discharges the battery or goes completely dead. Here's what happens. Suppose you're using the UPS feature to power your fridge, meaning you've connected your fridge to the power station, which in turn is plugged into the wall outlet. If the power goes out, your fridge continues to run seamlessly because the power station automatically kicks in, and once grid power is restored, the unit recharges back to 100% without your fridge ever skipping a beat. However, there's a catch. If the power station's battery completely discharges, even though the unit will eventually restore back to 100% either by solar or from the grid, the AC power remains off until you manually switch it back on. So without realizing it, you may think that your fridge is now powered again because the power has been restored. Unfortunately, that might not be the case. I've contacted All Powers about the issue with it faulting out, and they said they're looking into it. In Luke 6, Jesus talks about how a wise man builds his house on a rock. While ultimately, what Yeshua is talking about there is listening to and obeying God's word. However, we can still acknowledge the wisdom of being prepared and doing things the right way. I believe the Almighty has given us fathers a mandate to prepare for hard times. I'm not talking about buying prepper stuff. I'm talking about preparing your heart and your mind as well. After all, what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world, yet loses his soul? So I'll leave you with this question. Are you prepared? All right, if you're ready to see the next level of power, check out this video right here. 
I'm Eric, encouraging you to live faithfully and prepare thoroughly for good times or bad. I'll see you on the video.